Welcome Cancer to your December 2020 reading. Welcome to my channel, Forest for the Trees. Um, this is, again, your December 2020 reading. Your cardinal water sign, which means you are good at starting things. You're good at starting projects. You're, you're good at starting um, things that need to get started. You're, you are a doer for that. You'd like to go and do. You are uh, a water sign, so you have a lot of emotion of all there. Your your suit in the tarot is the cups. You have home, family, your nurture, your responsiveness, safety and protection, hunger and longing. Um, you your gems are a pearl and the moonstone, and your planet your planetary ruler is the moon. So why wouldn't it be card of emotion, right? Or the the planet of emotion is the moon. So there you are, and I'm going to set you over here. Try to keep you in screenshot. There you go. We're going to use a Morgan Greer, Greer Tarot today and see what is in store for you for December 2020. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving if you live in the States and you celebrated. Um, it was a different one for sure, but we all need to get through this, right? For Cancer. This could be your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, also Cancer, so here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to do it that way. We've got Justice and we've got the Nine of Cups. And that's in reverse. So is Justice. Interesting. So justice obviously can mean something that you are waiting for in the legal system. There's a delay in it. Uh, the Nine of Cups is a wish card or um, a very abundant card, emotionally abundant. And it's in reverse. So it's almost like you're hinging how you're going to feel about the decision of whatever is going to come through. Um, and justice, it doesn't have to be a legal but it's something that is demanding that there is, um, huh, wow, something that there's that 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 is demanding some type of balance, some type of truth to be told, and almost like your happiness is hinging on it. You have the judgment card, and that's on your foundation, and this shows me that it could be you're working through. Your atonement, you're working through, um, listening to your, um, listening to the greater good or listening to those that are telling you what you need to do or how you need to do it. Could be in the past, maybe you weren't following things the way it needed to be followed, um, but you're trying to make amends for it. You're trying to be a better person, basically. You're trying to do what you know to, that you need to do is right to make things right. It's almost like you need to make things right or you feel the need to make things right. Uh, again, it could be a legal situation coming in where your emotions are pending on it or your, um, your hopes and dreams or your... Your it's almost like I feel like your future or the future of your happiness depends on it. On this decision coming through. And then you have the seven of cups in, re in your past that's leaving you. It's leaving you now. You're still in it somewhat now. Um, but it's leaving and it's, it is a card of choices. And then you have the strength card in reverse that is coming into your present. So it's almost like, and it's in reverse, so it's almost like you don't feel like you have the strength you need or you're going to need for this situation or that you can do what you need to do. You have the king of rods, and that, that says differently. It's a, it's the, um, the rods are, or the... Wands are a passion. I'm sorry. That, well, they are passionate. They're a very passionate suit. But they are also a fire sign. That's Aries Leo or Capricorn. Uh, it could be that coming in to the future. So, we got... Let's see. 
four cups. I just feel like right now I need to pull these cards. I usually talk through them, but it's just telling me to concentrate on the pulls and get the cards on the table is what it's telling me. So that is what I'm going to do. So just bear with for just a little bit. Sometimes I talk and I don't concentrate and my guides are saying concentrate. This is for Cancer for December 2020. Huh. Every reading I've done today, the star card has made an appearance. Yeah, it, it told me to pull two, so there you go. On the bottom, you have the Queen of Swords. The swords are... Um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be uh, a trait you have in yourself also. So again, we have, we have the Justice card in reverse, and we have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a wish card, and it's almost, again, I feel like you are in limbo. You're feeling stuck. There could be a legal situation you're waiting, depending on, or it could be something that you need to do legally to get you out of a situation so you can free your emotions. And this could, this is a base card, so this could, it's a judgment card, but it also could represent not bad judgment, but maybe not using the best form of judgment in the past for this situation. Sorry, I had to take a drink. So, then it's showing me that what it led to is you have a lot of emotional choices you have to make now. And again, with the Justice in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse, it's showing me that it's hard for you to make the choices you need. You just feel stuck. You feel in limbo. So, you have the strength card in your future and or in your present. And the strength card is, is in reverse. But the strength card to me is never... It's, it's showing me that you don't think you're strong enough to get through the situation. And then coming up into your present, you have the king of rods. And the king of rods is saying, yes, you do. And I think it was in reverse. But it's saying, yes, you definitely have the... The power and the strength you need to get through it. The king is somebody that is very, uh, again, passionate about what he does. Um, he is in his throne. He's in his element. He is not afraid to fight for what he believes in. Uh, but there's something going on here where you don't, I don't know if you don't have the fight in you. You don't feel you have the fight in you. Let's see. Could be this legal. It could be this legal battle or legal whatever has taken a toll on you and just totally drained you emotionally. It could be where these these cups are reversed. You don't have it. You don't have it to give anymore. And you have choices to make and you just don't have the strength to even go there. Um, if it's a divorce or, or a bad situation, whatever got you into this, that your lapse of judgment maybe got you into this, it's like you're paying the price dearly for it. You're paying, um, you're paying for it emotionally and mentally, I think. Maybe not mentally, but you're, you're paying for it emotionally. It's really draining your emotions, really draining emotionally. But again, you have the king of, of wands, and he's also a very fast-moving, he's a fire sign, so he's a very passionate, fast-moving card. So it's coming into your future. So I think whatever you're feeling is going to pass quickly, depending on the judgment of, or the decision of this court, or this decision that's got to be made. Uh, right now you're seeing yourself as, Kind of, uh, kind of depressed, kind of um, not focusing on 
what you have. You're being given this emotionally emotion. You're being given, you're, you're given this cup of love basically, and you're not seeing it for what it's worth. You're not paying attention. You're too caught up in what's going on to see what's in front of you in a sense. So this, this is saying that you need to take a step back, stop what you're doing get reconnected, get regrounded, go out in nature. If you have to, um, spend some alone time with yourself. If you have to, you have the energy around you is the wheel of fortune. So, and it's upright. So fortune is smiling on you right now. Fortune's on your side. So whatever this legal situation is, Fortune's on your side, so the chance of it coming out in your favor is very, very good. Um, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a good card. You always have to remember. I always try to tell people with, with you have to remember you're not in charge. <laughs> we like to think we are, but we're not in charge. There's a hand of fate, hand of God, whatever you want to call it, that is turning this, that is in charge of. So. Yes, we can make our choices, but we have to listen to our intuition and make the right choices. And you have a lot of choices that, that you're going to have coming up emotionally. You're ready for them, but again, it's like you can't even think about that till you can let this situation go. Then you have your hopes and fears, and it's not being able to move forward. I think you have a path. I think you have a, um, an idea of where you want to go in your life um, when all this is said and done. And... I think your fear is that you're not going to be able to let it go, that you're not going to be able to uh, pursue what you want to do. And, and you're, it's your passion. And it, it, to me, it's travel. It's, it's leaving. It's going forward. Um, and it could be a lot of choices that, you know, even if this is a reading about a job and you have some legal pending in a job that maybe you didn't make the best decisions on. You have decisions coming into the future, but I think this is going to involve you moving forward. Um, it could be moving out of country even or out of state, but it's it's a totally different uh, area than what you're used to. Your final outcome is the star in reverse. The star upright or reversed is, you know, the star upright to me is a card of wishes fulfilled. It is a card of um, balance. And this is just showing me that, you know, in this mindset that you're in, you're not thinking that what you want is going to come true. The star is also a card of kind of maybe put yourself out there a little bit more. Um, it's in reverse. Maybe you're not putting yourself out there. Um, if it's a job market or if it's um, something that you need to move out of, if it's a relationship or whatever legal battle, maybe you're not trying as hard as you can try or maybe you're not uh, really showing who you are to whoever needs to see it. You're not being open and vulnerable like you need to be. I mean, she's obviously doesn't have any clothes on, so she's very vulnerable and open, but you're in reverse. So it's, it's almost like, you know, you want to pull the fig leaves up or whatever. Um, but this also came out with it and it's the four, or I'm sorry, the three of cups and it's a card to celebration. So, so that's showing me that whatever legal situation or whatever this pending emotional drain is having on you is going to pass and you will be celebrating but you, you have to see what is given to you. This is the Three of Cups. This is the Four of Cups. So it can go from a celebration to depression really quick. And you have got to work on your emotions to get your emotions under control in order to um, to move forward and to see, again, what's, what's given to you, what the gifts are that's given. What, you know, you've wished for these. They're there. You need to celebrate you need to spend time with friends you know get together with people not just stay by yourself and not stay in that emotional um, thought pattern and an emotional drain because with the strength card again you're you have the strength you have what you need in you 
And the strength card is a card of Leo, if that has any significance to, um, to you, whoever's listening. And the star card is a star, uh, card of Aquarius. But again, you have the wheel of fortune. So fortune's smiling on you and fortune's on your side, but it won't stay there. It's, it's. It's not that it's going to go away, but it gives you this opportunity. It opens this window for you. It gives you this opportunity. And it's this reading is basically telling you don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Act on it. Act on it. Don't worry about your past. Don't worry about... I mean, you'll make atonements for it. You're, I think that's what this is. I think it's an emotional drain to whatever's going on with the situation with justice. If it's a legal justice or if it's something that is just again like a job where you're changing jobs but there's legalities in with it it's emotionally draining for you and you keep replaying events instead of trying to move forward and out of this uh, stagnant energy is what I keep getting so again this won't resonate with everybody but if it resonates with you I'd love to hear from your comments below about what's going on in your life and give a little justification for me but again you have your your movement it's like you know where you want to go with it you know um, the path you want to take but you've got to trust in your passion and trust what you believe in and know that in the this is the future that's a king so the future is telling me that again it's in reverse so you know, you really need to do the work in order to propel yourself forward to make that wheel keep turning in your favor and not lax on what you need to do. It's, it's like your idea is there, you know what it is. It's moving forward on it. And know that the wheel, the wheel keeps turning. But you want it to keep turning in your favor, so you need to put the work in. You need to get on it while it's while it's going. You know, it's kind of like the stock market. You want to you want to buy or whatever when it's I don't know up. I don't know. I don't know stock market, but it, it's it's like you want you know act um, hit while the iron's hot or act while the iron's hot or whatever they say, uh, whatever that is. Because there is a celebration, there is a time to celebrate coming up with the Three of Cups and the Star card. You just have to put yourself out there. Show, <clears throat> excuse me. Show who you really are. Be more vulnerable. Be, be more open and out there. And again, you have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So, she sits in her throne. She's not afraid to um, speak the truth, cut through the BS, so to speak. Uh, she's the one to do it. And that's on the bottom of the deck. So that is telling me, and she is upright. So not only will this king of rods, um, and it could be a person, it could be an older person there to help you that, you know, may be a fire sign. And maybe the Aries Leo or, or Capricorn that may be there to help propel you forward to sit in your throne and be the Queen of Cups or Swords. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which, you know, it is an air sign, so it is your thoughts, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. All right. Let's see. We'll pull a Grace card and see. Listen, listen, so again, to me that goes on with the wheel of fortune and the judgment and the cups, the emotions, listen, <clears throat> when we feel overly attached to an outcome, it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self. And I think I said something earlier about uh, reconnecting with you, you know, going out in nature. Um, 
rediscovering who you are, you know, figuring out how to be that vulnerable person again. Do a card for health. Chakra reading cards. If you hear crinkling, it's my dog with his toy. So that is all that is. He's a good boy. This is for your health or cancer for December 2020 or whenever you happen to stumble upon this reading. Again, if it resonates with you, I'd love to hear from your comments below. Feel free. All right, so we've got the rebirth card. And it's it's to me, it's like the death card in the tarot. You have this beautiful transformation going on. And again, I feel like you are waiting to see the outcome of a situation before you can really go come come into yourself come into your being before you can feel like you're being transformed or you can um to feel that that growth you have been waiting patiently for this time of change and new beginnings to arrive so bathe in its glory i think that's where the celebration is coming in too because all this is coming it is all coming um, my dog's eating, I'm sorry. Start something new or embark on a project and you, that you've been pondering over. There may also be new inspiration coming for coming through for you at this time. Take a moment to connect with your inner voice and listen to what your soul is sharing with you. You have, you know, all these choices coming in. You definitely have that coming in. You could also be birthing a new aspect of yourself. Whatever the process is for you right now, be sure to embrace this opportunity and enjoy the new energy that is available to you. And it's a Earth Star card. When I work with chakras, I work with the seven major ones. The Earth Star is below the root, and then you have your Soul Star, which is above your head. So this is deeper than it, it's your. It, it goes into the ground. It's the grounding. I think of the roots, you know, of a tree, um, and that's what this goes really deep. So this is very um, important to your future development. It's very important that you take this time and and ground and really again be vulnerable find yourself find who you really are find your true self and don't be afraid to and it's hard I think for a cancer because they like to put other people's needs first and not theirs so it's very important that you do put your needs first all right, so let's do a love card. Oh, my dog, I'm so sorry. He's a great Dane, so he's got a big mouth. <laughs> and the, his feeding bowl's right here. He was laying down, but decided I guess he was hungry. All right, Cancer. This is for December 2020. For love. What information or what, nope, what um, messages do we have coming through? We have, be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. It's a give and a take. We all know that, don't we? We all know that. And that could be where this is coming in. It, you know, it could be maybe hard for you to really express yourself to get that fulfillment, that joy and fulfillment that you're needing to move forward. It's a beautiful card, and it's a card to me of listening. She's holding the shell, and that little fairy or whatever's in the shell. And it's a card of being still and listening. Acknowledging that your voice isn't the only voice that matters. Listen. That shell. She's holding it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, don't hold yourself back. It's almost like, uh, again, be vulnerable. Let, letting it all out there. Showing your true self. Be willing to do that. Be willing to open your true self up. And express your love. Don't be afraid. Don't hold it in. All right, we'll do an overall energy card for you. So this is energy oracle cards. Anxiety, yeah. Worry. You're worried. Again, that's what I saw, I see when um, we have the four cups, the depression, the worry, the anxiety. It's holding you back from the fulfillment of the wheel of fortune. It's holding you back from receiving your your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, and celebrating. Let's see what was under here. Yeah, see, I think that has to do, too, with the judgment. I think that's whatever happened in the past or whatever you're, you're doing your atonement for, because this is your foundation. This is, this is the, the base of it. Whatever you're holding that atonement for that you haven't let go of, you're letting it eat you up inside and you, you have that worry and that anxiety on it. And you really need to let that go in order to move forward. Let's see what the book says. I don't feel like I'm doing the card justice. And this card did come out in reverse. So, in reverse, it says, finally relief. This nightmare of a card reverse could mean one of two things. Either a recent problem is on its way out, causing you to feel more relaxed, or you have mastered the old habit of worry and have freed yourself from the anxiety within. Either way, anxiety reversed is a good omen of a more relaxed and peaceful times to come. Maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties and fear and fear th difficulties and fear thoughts fade away into the distance. So you can, your affirmation is, I let go of fear and worry. I assume the best and live in peace. All is well. So that is a, it's a better card in reverse than it was upright. So it, it did come out in reverse. I just turn it over so you all can see it better. Um, and that, again, that could be where you, you are learning to let go of this. So the situation can turn around and it won't be so emotionally, emotionally draining on you. All right, let's see. We will do the. Everybody loves these. These are. This is a message from your future self to your current self about the situation December 2020 for cancer. Future self to current self. All right. Future self to current self. dance telling you to relax have fun this card goes perfect with this card this is a celebration card this is a card where you get your friends together and you go out and celebrate you have fun let go of the anxiety the worries this says kick up your cute heels and move your glorious body feel the music and let loose Sweat your prayers and twirl to your intentions. Every cell in your body will rejoice. Exercise is an important to your well-being as healthy eating and processing your stress and emotions. You can shake a tail feather alone with friends or with a passionate partner. Dance your gorgeous heart out. And I think, again, you definitely, once this legal situation Whatever is emotional, emotionally draining you, and I think once you sit down with yourself in your most vulnerable state and make your choices and see that you do have the strength that you need for this situation, your anxiety is leaving, you're coming into the king power or this person here is going to help you 
move forward. Because you definitely, you have the Three of Wands card. So you, you have that movement forward. It's something you've thought of. Something you want to happen. You want that movement forward. And once you let go of the anxiety and really express yourself. And not romantic, I mean it can't be romantically too. But you need to express love to receive love. So it could be in any situation. And you need to listen not only to yourself but to others. That's that give and take again. And this rebirth is happening now. You're turning into this beautiful butterfly. You're letting go of the past. You're letting go of um, things that have held you back in the past. Emotionally, mentally, physically. For this rebirth. For this beautiful rebirth and growth to happen. It's a beautiful card. Beautiful card. Alright, I will pull a rune for you. It is Othela, Othela, I'm not very good at pronunciations, I'm learning these. It's home and acquisition, so things you have. And again, cancer is all about home, family, nurture, you know, all about that. So this to me just reiterates where you're most comfortable at. You know, creating the space that you, you love, creating the space for others, but you can't forget yourself in the process. You have to remember you and know that you have to let loose and have fun too, and it's okay. And this rebirth will happen, and you won't have that depression and anxiety um, as bad. You're learning how to deal with it. You're listening to not only others, but you're listening to your body as well. have one and it is the tree of life look at that you see it and it landed on the judgment card so to me the tree of life is family again you couldn't come with a better home family nurturer it's all about that that is where your heart lies that is where you are truly truly happy is at home, being the, not, not that you don't like to work, but being the nurturer, being, being, you know, making the branches, making the stability. And it could be the past, since it landed right on the judgment card, could be that in the past, you didn't make the best calls for the family. And that could be where this legal situation is coming from that's causing you anxiety and draining your emotions. But, Moving in the future, you've learned from your mistakes. You're not quite there yet, but you have the strength, and you really have to see that you are the king. You are the queen. Um, this is not gender specific. So, you know, you're the queen of swords, and you also have the knight, or the king of, um, I believe, wands under there. So you do, you have the power. You just have to believe it. And this rebirth and transformation will take place. And you will still be the nurturer. You will still be the one who is providing and having this family grow. Or idea or whatever you're moving into. Whatever you're wanting um, from this situation. You have movement forward. You have growth. You have your passion. Again, be willing to express love to receive love. Have your rebirth. Have fun. Have fun, Cancer. Have fun. Have a fun month. Listen not only to yourself but to others. Listen to your gut instincts. Make good choices. I think you've learned from your past that you will make good choices. And I think that's part of what's, what you're afraid of. But no, you have the stability. You have the groundingness. You are, you are rooted deep in your emotions and your beliefs and your knowledge. And know that your wishes will come true. All right. I hope that resonates with some of you. Please comment down below. 
<clears throat> if it has, I'd like to hear back from you. And um, if you'd like a private personal reading, if you have a question, then please feel free to email me. And thank you again for watching. Cancer, have a great December.